you will return better than you came. Amen. You shall return better than you came. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is how to lay the foundation. Be grateful to him. Mm. Praise him. Thank him. And you will qualify for more. Say amen. amen. Just like the testifiers did, we all have things to praise God for. And as we do that, more doors will open unto us. More help will be given to us. And I am prophesying to you and upon you, more help be given to you. Amen. The only time you don't need help is when you are trying to do something that your strength can handle. And that's normal success, normal result. When you do something that your strength can handle, the result is normal. But when you try to do something that only you cannot handle, the result will become super. Higher. And every time you try to do something that your strength alone cannot handle, you need help. You attract help. God will help us. God will help us. The beginning of it, the foundation of it is appreciation. Gratitude. Never think your life is empty. Don't agree. He says in Psalm 150 and verse 6, Psalm 150 verse 6, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord, that you are breathing alone is a ticket for thanksgiving. Everything, Psalm 150 and verse number 6, can we see it? Let everything that is still breathing, praise the Lord. As long as there is breath in you, you are indebted to God in thanksgiving. Yes, sir. Thank you. So 146 and verse 2, 146, it says, as long as I live, I will praise him. Yes, that you are alive. It says, while I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have my being. Mm. A dead body cannot praise him. No. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Never allow anything deceive you. Please. As long as there is breath in you, you are not defeated. Yes. You may have a battle to fight, yes, but as long as there is breath in you, you can come and turn around surprisingly. Job chapter 14 and verse 14. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my life here or night, I will wait until my change shows up. Your change will show up very soon. Your change will show up very soon. Your change will show up very soon. Psalm 67 from verse 5. It says, let the people praise thee. Let the people praise thee. Then the next verse. It says, that is how the earth will yield increase. Hey, pandas. Then shall the earth yield her increase. If the people don't stop praising you, they will continue to be fruitful. It is when they stop praising that there will be no fruitfulness. Let me tell you this. One of the reasons why the devil wants you to be complaining is because complaining dries it up. Praising and appreciating makes it fruitful. Hi. Joel chapter 1 and verse 12. He said, all the fruitful trees of the field 
dried up, and the reason is given at the bottom of it. Joel chapter 1 and verse 12. He says, because joy dried up from among men. Where there is no joy, there is no fruitfulness. Joy is not rejoicing. Joy is conviction that is to be celebrated before the result is made manifest. Did you hear that? Rejoicing is reference to joy. When it had not happened, you were celebrating, expecting it to happen. Now that it has happened, you are rejoicing. Yes, sir. When it had not happened, it was joy. When it happens, it is rejoicing. It is celebration. You will not be stranded again. You will not be stranded again. Enter into a new phase of results in life. I'm not speaking ordinary words of men. I know what I'm created for. Sincerely, many people have many things that they are faced with. Some are using their skills, some are using their certificates to work here and there. But I discovered that I am born to do what I'm doing. I also went to school. But my certificate is not for work in the office. Aye. It's for what I'm doing. Yes, sir. Ezra, the book of Ezra, chapter 6, verse 14 and 15. The people had building to do, but the men of God, the prophets, were with them prophesying. And as the prophets were prophesying, the builders were building, and they finished the work. Yes. Look at it from verse 14. Verse 14. And the elders of the Jews built it. And they prospered through what? The prophesying of Haggai the prophet. Mm. So don't think it is just working. It is working because there are workers behind it. The prophets were prophesying and the builders were doing the work. Look at verse 15. Verse 15. And this house was finished. Lift up your hand to heaven. The prophetic help you need to finish that destiny engagement receive right now in the name of Jesus. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, right here under the influence of my voice, the supernatural backup, the prophetic voice, the prophetic support you need in order to advance in that purpose of your life, especially those areas that are proving difficult. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Receive now in the name of Jesus. Even the presence of enemies couldn't stop their work because the prophets were backing them up. Ezra chapter 5, verse 1, 2, and 3. Then the prophets, Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. And what happened? Then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Joshua, the son of who? Josadak, uh, and began to build the house of God. There were obstacles on ground, but when the prophets began to prophesy, the people rose up. In the name of Jesus, rise up! Physically arise. Spiritually arise. Financially arise. Emotionally arise. On every good side arise. Say with me, I will arise. Say prophet prophesy. And I will arise. So arise. 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 Come out of weariness. Come out of weakness. Come out of discouragement. Come out of frustration. Be strong. Be lifted. Be bold. Be courageous. In the name of Jesus. 
I decree and declare over you, your labor will count. Your effort will count. They shall be rewarded. By means of your presence here this morning, receive strength to do exploit. You see, God has arranged these things this way. And he has appointed people to fix it up this way. Under his influence. Mm. You know, Saul was already a king. And then he took all the army with all the weapons of war and went to fight. But the prophet Samuel said, don't make a move until I come. I will come and offer sacrifice and you step out. So the king was waiting. Every soldier was ready to fight. The enemies were coming close. And he thought that their presence was all that is needed. And then he went and did sacrifice so they can start fighting. Because he thought some of the soldiers were going. Then Prophet Samuel arrived. And he said, what am I noticing? Have you done sacrifice that I'm supposed to come and do before you fight? Hey, you missed it. He said, if you had waited a little and I had come to do the sacrifice, your throne would have been established forever. After you, your lineage would have been coming kings and kings and kings. But now that you couldn't wait for this prophetic push, mm. the kingdom is cut out of your hand. Lift up your right hand. May you not miss your destiny helpers. <laughs> The help of God, ordained of God for you, may you not miss any. Amen. You will no longer miss any. Amen. Every destiny helper you have lost, may God restore them back to you. Amen. May you not have itching ears. Amen. May you not have impatience. Amen. May you not have discouragement. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just before you take your seat, take note of this. Because the enemy knows that if your spiritual stand is strong, if you have divine cover, he can't bring you down. When he cannot attack directly outside there in the place of your interest because of that support, he comes around your spiritual connection to try to weaken it. He will not succeed. When he comes around and he's trying to cause division, get some discomfort between you and some church members where you worship, and uh, you are trying to fight that out, then he says, hey, even that church self. Then he comes up to say, even that pastor self. Let me tell you the truth. One of the reasons for the battles the men of God go through, God protects them. Touch not my anointed and do my... One of the reasons is not who they are. It is because of your own destiny. Hebrews 13 and verse 17, he says, you should obey them that have rule over you so that they will do what they are to do over you with joy and not with grief. He said, because they will give account for your souls. People give account of money. The man of God give account of souls. Did you hear that? And so in the name of Jesus, Anything that wants to wear out your spiritual strength and connection, the Lord wear them out. The Lord wear them out. The Lord wear them out. Whether it is within Nigeria or outside the country, I am giving testimony to the glory of God. People have discovered that if they have something to do and we step there, I step, there's a way help will come. There's a way success will come. Those who understand it will benefit from it. Some will want to kick against it because the devil is after them. The devil's after you will not succeed again. Yeah. 